Welcome back, folks. We are doing quite well. We have tons of money. Let's start the game running on slow speed and yeah, half date speed. I actually think I'll slow the date speed down to a quarter. So we're making like, what, 80 million a month or so? Between 60 and 80 million, or uh, not a month, a order. So that's pretty good. Um, so last time we extended the cargo spine up to, to Macula here. And we put in, uh, we extended, of course, the fluid uh, line. Uh, if I can find it somewhere. Uh, where's our fluid train? Well, one of them. Not there. There's one. So, spine fluid hauler uh, was extended, and we're actually bringing some fuel back down here. I guess that's for Virginia Beach. Uh, maybe. And we have quite a bit of fuel and some oil sitting here. So, you know what? Let's... clone you get one more train on there so the idea with this whole thing is that I can basically take uh, let's say some construction materials from here and I can haul it over to Frisco by truck and then at Frisco we can uh, pick it up and take it wherever it needs to go and the same goes everywhere so I want to have this spine uh, be flexible it'll be holding whatever needs to go wherever it needs uh, so so th that's the idea and it's it's something that uh, I have watched a, quite a bit of Transport Fever 2 on YouTube, and I feel like everyone is doing like uh, specific routes that only haul specific things, and uh, that's cool. Uh, uh, I, I can see why, but I've never seen anyone do this where you just make a spine and you basically just take whatever materials are close haul it into the nearest uh, train station that uh, that has a spine stop and and then just just distribute it wherever it needs to go uh, to any other uh, so maybe we let's just say we hook up uh, this uh, grain down here and ship it to Virginia Beach maybe it's needed by a by this uh alcohol factory so we sh ship it up here to olaith and we make a little uh truck line going down to the distillery and then the distillery's alcohol will come back up to olaith uh, and be distributed to a food production plant somewhere uh, maybe up here somewhere where it's needed and then the the food is distributed across the entire network like that that's the idea that's the idea so we'll see if it works i i don't know because i've never tried it before really and i don't haven't really seen anyone else really try it so that's why I want to try it. So let's just uh, get on with it. But today we, we are going to hook up uh, Colombia and Hialeah to Murrieta for passengers. So let's start by doing that. Uh, so configure this. Uh, we will need a passenger platform. And 
And we actually just need one. And then we need you, as I always write. Uh, some tracks, of course. Okay. And that's that done. And then we will do the same with here. Uh, configure. Let's get some tracks in there. And a passenger platform and on this one we'll need uh, two sets of tracks uh, so we actually need to come over that or maybe you know what let's pause for a second here there's no train here right now um, what I'm gonna do, or save. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a passenger platform in here. Uh, on this side. Passengers. Uh, like that. I can't do that like that. We, we, we'll need to pull this back a bit anyway. So our passenger... We, we could go with... Uh, let's just do this one for now, because that's what we've been going with. Then we need some tracks. High speed with catenaries. And we need them like that. Okay. And then we need another platform. Let's just use that one. with catenaries uh, actually we need cargo platform here now how the passengers are gonna get to that those uh, passenger platforms I do not know but again It'll be fine. And then high speed track for this. And there, 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 there. Okay, and then I definitely want some underpasses here. Um, whoa. Let's put one here, one here, and 
one here will be fine. And then I want a roof. Let's try a Manchester Piccadilly station roof. Or well, that's waiting area. Now let's try try this. And we'll put it all the way. Alrighty. So there's that. That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty nice. Okay. So that's done. Then this. It needs to be pulled back a bit. And it needs to come in there. To this one. So. Tracks. I. that and like that and then some signals for it uh, no auto signaling there and that's fine okay and then goods and tools midland and topeka you need to go on Terminal 3. Then that should be fine. Right, so we should be able to let the game run again without having problems. Tracks. I speed with catenaries. And we'll do that. And we'll do this. Okay. So you can come up to here and then you can go into there. And then you can come down and connect up. When the game stops lagging. So I might be asking a lot of the game by doing it this way with the cargo. But that's okay, I think. Uh, I want to try it. I want to try it. Okay, so that's there. Then we need another platform here. Like that. Uh, and it's 320 catenaries, yes. Uh, let's put a second street connection. We have zero curvature. Can you? Thank you. Uh, no bridge. Uh, no, just building. That's fine. All of this is fine. All right. good with that then we will take this track out follow up this way and then here we'll around here 
will branch off and come in like this. Yep, that's the plan. So, SP tracks with catenaries. Uh, let's go to 130, I guess. And then just come in and follow. Okay. It's a lot of traffic here. It's not going to help that there are going to be more trains. Alright, so I think it's about here that we want to, yeah, branch off. Okay. Alrighty, so we want to branch off here and come into there. Why are we going up here? Let's do that. And do we need to start turning? No, definitely not yet. And there. And then we'll have to do like this. And that'll be fine. And we need a bus here. Alrighty. So that's that. Then we need signals. And we want to auto signal and we want to go from here. All the way up here. Alrighty. And that'll be fine. Then we want some signals from here. All the way up here. And that'll be fine. Okay, that works, that works. Alrighty, so that's that. Then of course we need some passenger capacity for this. So, I am thinking uh, passenger buildings, we can't do that. So we need to make, okay, that's fine though. So what we need to do is we need to put some tracks here. Uh, not those though. Uh, high speed. With catenaries. And then I think we'll just put a passenger platform here.
because then we can put some underpasses here, here, and here, and we can put a little roof on some of this stuff. Okay. Now, there are no waiting areas over here. Uh, let's put a waiting area there. And a waiting area there. What? Where, where did that go? Alright, fine. Okay, because now... We can put some passenger buildings over on this side. What are you colliding with? Building will be removed? What? Why is this removing a building? Right, fine, it'll be like that. And then we'll get a road crossing. Here and here. So, streets. We'll do the large streets. I do not like that. Um, let's bring this down some. with this. Right, you know what? Uh, strength down. Let's try this. That looks okay. Right. And we'll make it a straight road, I think. A little bit further. Something like that. And then, oh, we have a crossing there. Darn it. Do we need to have a cross there, though? Not really, right? No, I don't think so. No one's complaining about it, so I guess not. Uh, someone's complaining about it. Yeah. Oh, there are no containers here. 
Um, Um, I want catenaries everywhere. Did that solve the problem? Not really. this train all right no warnings good okay so we'll have this road come out like this No, no, no. But that is very, very up. Is that straight? Yeah, I guess it is. Construction not possible, why? There's no cross here. I guess it's because of this. All right, well, the town will figure it out somehow. So let's just demolish this and let the town figure it out. And we will smooth so it doesn't look so weird. Alright. So I want a uh, bus stop over here. Uh, I think I want trams here in Hialeah. Yeah, let's do trams. Uh, what's trip connection? Oh, cool. Very cool. Well, I want buildings, passengers. And I want... Spanhof with 10 stops. I don't really need that. Um, no, let's just do the regular ones. We want trams, we want two platforms, we want them to be 30 meters long, I think. And then I think what I'll do is stick it in here. And then probably do something like this. Yeah, that works for me. And then we, of course, need some passenger stops around town. Uh, these ones, and we'll start with one here, then we'll come up here, come over here, um, 
think then we'll come down this way. Have one here. Have one here. And then come over this way. Have one here. Have one up here. And then come out here. Out here. Uh, in here. Down here. Down here and back. So we're going to need to upgrade some streets here. Tram tracks. Uh, there. Then both of these ways. And we're just going to upgrade the roads. Uh, that was wrong. Uh, let's say no. Tram tracks here, 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 or here. Right, so tram tracks, tram tracks, tram tracks, and over here. Up this way, over this way, down this way, okay, so that should allow us that, and then we can build uh, a Depot, and I think we'll build it here. Okay, tram. Okay, there's a lot of different things. We'll, we'll play around with that in another one. So we need two new lines. Actually, we need three new lines. Uh, let's do two to start. So this will be from there to 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 there and back again. And this will be Hialeah uh, Circle. And you can have that color. You're going to change color to this one. And you will go from there to 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 there. To there. To there, to there, to there, to there, to there, and back again, and you will be Hialeah Circle 2. Let's buy some vehicles for you. Uh, I think we'll go with, hmm, let's go with the Toronto. And we'll go with eight of them on each. Uh, you were, I'm pretty sure, this color or highly a circle. And then Toronto, eight, or. Highly a circle too. Okay, then we need another new line. 
And of course, we're going to need to do the same down here, but um, let's see this. We can actually just uh, not that. Let's do that and a signal, no auto signaling there, and you need to be a double slip switch. All right, so new line from here to here. to here, to here, and back again. Okay. And let's give you a color, um, this one. Okay. Uh, I didn't rename it, so it'll be line one. Let's see, electric. Let's go with the PRR class. Uh, oh, wait. Didn't we get... Wow, that is colorful. Uh, multiple units. Uh, so I think I want to do the Metro Liner. Like that. Uh, 78 passengers. Okay, so just one. That's fine. We'll make you your color. And we will set you on line one. Which will be... Uh, Columbia... Murrieta... Uh, is it one or two R's and one or two T's? Uh, two R's. Neither. Okay. And I think I will take a ride on it. To wrap up the episode. Uh, I want to speed up before we do that. Okay. Coming into Colombia, where there are, of course, no passengers. That's a pretty good looking train, isn't it? I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Alright, let's take a ride here. Slow, slow. Alright, up to 70. 80 kilometers an hour and 90 and I do love this it's so beautiful it is so beautiful oh uh Fram you have to wait Alright, so that was a short little trip to Hialeah. No passengers waiting here yet, but that's to be expected. And off we go. And... Heading up... to Murrieta. 
our... I would say that Morietta is our central hub at the moment. Look at that view out there. Gorgeous, with that lovely industry there. Oh, we're uh, catching up to our cargo train here. We're going to overtake. That's cool. We're actually doing 110 kilometers an hour. 11, 12, 13. Wow. All right. Bye-bye, cargo train. And... In we come to the flourishing town of Murrieta. Do we have any passengers waiting here yet? We do. A few. A few. Uh, five passengers got on board. Nice. Very cool. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.